Anyway, morning friends, Romans, countrymen, and others. This is Amy reporting not live from my room with your uh, monthly or so Silent Hill news. So, first of all, and I think the biggest news was that Silent Hill, the short message, was leaked, and it was rated for a PS5 or something in, in Taiwan. So, Gamatsu has found that there was a Silent Hill video game content something rated for unspecified platforms by the Game Rating and Administration Committee of Korea in September. And you'll remember that the Silent Hill transmission was in October, and it was not mentioned then. So, it has been suggested that, while it's not Silent Hill F, it's related to that. And Gamatsu translated the following from traditional Chinese via Google, and it says, the synopsis of the storyline is this. Anita came to an abandoned apartment in order to meet her friend Maya, and somehow woke up to find herself trapped in it. She must escape her own fears and the monsters lurking in the corridors, discover the truth behind the events she's trapped in, and try to escape before her own trauma consumes her will to survive. And here is the artwork. And here is the artwork and the rating, which was from Gamatsu. So they're suggesting again that it's not Silent Hill F, but related, maybe in the way PT was supposed to be related to Silent Hills. And Bloody Disgusting says that this seems in line with the images that were leaked from Silent Hill Sakura, which leaked a screenshot that's very very similar to the original artwork for for the official artwork for the short message. And via Rely on Horror filming is soon starting on the Return to Silent Hill movie, which is supposed to be a film version of Silent Hill 2, which also involves Christoph Gans. Also, Rely on Horror asked um, Yodel Furland if she, if anyone approached her, if she would be interested, and she said if she was uh, approached, she would be interested. New Bubblehead Nurse concept art from Masahiro Ito was revealed by Bloober with some slight changes like the shoes, but it said that the monsters won't be changed much because, and there won't be new monsters because it's a remake after all. And Ito confirmed this via his Twitter. And as for a lot of things, for those who are determined to be upset about all this happening, I say to you, maybe it's not for you and you're not the target audience. I figure I'm not the target audience because I played the originals as they came out and have never stopped playing them. So I don't really require a remake or a, you know, film version of two, but new players might get into the series by way of this and that this is a good thing and you should just let people enjoy things, perhaps. Piotr Babiano, CEO of the Bloober team, according to Rely on Horror, also says that the Bloober team could be open to doing more games in the future if they were approached for this also. I've started re-uploading some of the things from the alcamillahospital.net site, but it's now on silenthillcommunity.com forward slash alcamilla. And it's all sort of in the directory there. But I'm sort of... Like, new versions of WordPress and Coppermine and all that, it's all very, like, bloatware, meant to steal your data more than provide a good user experience, so I figured I would just do HTML instead for now. And, like, every time I have a backup of something, it doesn't work on the new versions, just like the SHC forums, the backups didn't work because of, like, new incompatible versions, and it's all... Bloatware bullshit. Fuck you, modern internet. But um, I'm also redoing the string caps in better quality, and I have backups of all the text and posts and such. So it's not like the data is lost, it's just I'm I'm reconverting it to a, a different uh, format that is less bloated. Alright, let's try this again. So here's some of the updates I did. Uh, clean some things up, put up... Eddie's Pizza Recipe, uh, some, I'll put a gallery here, that's with the model viewer. 
Um, official site and demo discs. References with images. Uh, that's a big one there. Alright. Some of the beta differences. List of items there. Put up the bio of Ito. Let's see, walkthrough endings, the uncensored memos, um, gallery. Which, it's not quite done yet, but you get the idea. Eddie's Pizza. I put off put up a lot of stuff under other some of the PT stuff let's see Silent Hill experience uh, videos and downloads and some of the interviews and things here and some of the old site screen caps and let's see Good stuff and if you have more news, you can reach me, you know, at these places. Mira would like you to remember to check out the store, and we have some Heaven's Night wristbands, Silent Hill 2, Lakeview Hotel, keychains, stickers, other things, tarot cards, acrylic pins, which also um, helps me find more time to put more things on the site and to maintain it and hopefully transfer it to a new domain, the Alcamilla stuff anyway. But yes, thanks for watching, friends, and I'll try to keep you updated on new news and things and um, planning some more playthroughs also with in-depth uh, references and storyline and such. And cam hack stuff. And like right now I'm working on the Silent Hill 1 galleries and using Gyromancy's model viewer to make like bigger, to make better quality images of the stores, like the exterior of, of the stores and some of the interiors uh, so far. And I put up some Silent Hill 2 gallery stuff as well. And mostly I've been working on the modding page and putting more like images and descriptions and links to more programs and files and like the JPEGs of the rip textures and skins and things like that. And I'm consoling I'm consolidating some of the old stuff like the news posts about PT, you know, from the announcement, like from the announcement until the cancellation and so on and just putting all that with subheadings on one page to consolidate. And I don't have ads on the site because I don't sell your data at keep or keep it at all. So please also consider contributing as little as $1 a month to the Patreon or buying things from the Etsy. We are getting like more Heaven's Night wristbands, Channeling Stone stickers. And I'm still waiting on the SH2 coin puzzle coins. And everything uh, comes with a free sticker or, or something else. <laughs>